Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. We've been selling auto parts for over 30 years. All right, I'm going to take this wheel off. We're going to use a 19 millimeter socket and a breaker bar. Loosen up the lug nuts. Just one at a time before we put the wheel up in the air. Now we'll, now we'll raise and support the vehicle. All right, now we're going to take the lug nuts off. Just use the socket to help us. Take the tire off. All right, next we're going to take off these two Phillips head screws. Um, sometimes you might need an impact driver, but other times you can just use a Phillips head screwdriver and just twist them off. Hopefully they're loose. If they're real tight, use an impact driver. And that worked well. All right, this caliper is kind of rusty and the bolts are kind of rusty. I'm just going to take a wire brush before I take these bolts out so that my socket fits a little bit better. I'll just wire brush the bolts for a second. Now I'll take a 12 millimeter socket and a ratchet. Loosen these bolts up. that one up. If the, um, if the caliper pin starts spinning, you can put a wrench on that. You can use a 17 millimeter wrench to hold it from spinning. Pull that bolt out. Pull this bolt out. Now I can grab the caliper. I'm going to twist it back and forth just to loosen it up a little bit. That compresses some of the piston. And I'm going to pull it straight out because the pad is going to come with it. Next I'm going to take a bungee cord, put it around the caliper. And we're going to secure it up here. Go around the strut assembly. And loop it a couple times if you have to. Stick that right through there. There. Then uh, that'll keep the tension off the brake line. Next, I'll pull this brake pad off. The other one is in the caliper. You can pull this one off here. Pull it straight out like that. See those clips slide into the piston. Next we're going to take these two caliper bracket bolts out. We're going to use a 17 millimeter socket and a breaker bar. Loosen these up. Right, once, once we get those broken free, loose, then we'll just use our smaller ratchet and a 17 millimeter socket and take them out.
Once they're loose enough, we'll take them off by hand. And once they come out, we'll pull the bracket straight back. Next we can grab the rotor, pull it straight out. If it was difficult to remove, um, you can use a hammer and hit in these locations and you should be able to pop it right off. We're going to take this little plug off of this rotor. Um, just use a little flat blade tool, get underneath here. Or you can also, from the back side, we can take and push it through. Just like that. We'll set that aside and put it in our new rotor. This is our old brake rotor and pads. This is our new brake rotor and pads from 1aauto.com. If you look at the pads, the pads are exactly the same. The ears are the same. This little retainer that goes into the piston is the same. The squealer is the same. You're gonna wanna match these up per side. This happens to be the driver's side. The other pads are the same. The rotors, the hat's the same height. The inside has the drum for the parking brake. Get yours at 1aauto.com and you'll be ready to rock and roll. We're gonna clean this caliper bracket up. First, we're gonna take these guide pins out. Slide that out. We're gonna use some brake parts cleaner. And then wipe it down with a rag. Also gonna use a little brake parts cleaner in the hole here. And we can also take the rag and clean some of that out. And we'll take some brake caliper grease. Put it on the pin and then slide it back in. We'll do the same with the other one. Next, we're gonna clean this up with a wire brush. We're just gonna go like this on here. We can, we can take this pad slide out or anti-rattle clip, clean up the bottom of this a little bit. And then in here, we'll just clean this up. Reinstall this. We're gonna do the same with the other side. And now it's nice and clean. All right, before we put the rotor on, we're gonna to wanna to clean up this hub. Uh, we're just gonna use a wire brush and if there's any loose rust, um, scrape the loose rust off. This one doesn't look too bad. So it's pretty good. Make sure it's all even. We're gonna install the rotor backwards and we're gonna spray it down with brake parts cleaner and use a rag to wipe it off. The brake rotors come with a sealer on it, so we wanna get that off. And we'll flip it over. We're gonna line, line these two holes up with these two holes. Install that, then we'll clean this side and wipe it down with a rag. All right, to make it easier to install the brakes, we're gonna install these screws next. Um, tighten these down. I'm just gonna snug them down, not too tight, just snug. Use a Phillips head screwdriver to tighten these down. Just like that. That'll prevent the rotor from moving around when we're trying to get the brake pads on. Next we're gonna install this plug. It goes right here. Push that on. That's a little flat blade screwdriver. You can 
fish it in there. Just like that. Next we're gonna install our brake caliper bracket. Slide that on there. Take the bolts, get the bolts started. We'll take our ratchet and snug these up. Next, we're gonna use this torque wrench with a 17 millimeter socket. We sell this torque wrench at 1AAuto.com. We're gonna to torque this to 79 foot-pounds. Before we put these on, we're gonna to wanna to lubricate the ears on these. And we'll put a little bit on the surface right here. We'll do the same for this one. A little bit of lube on the ears. Like that. And you can put a little on the face right here. Just like that. Next we'll install one of the new brake pads right there. That's the one that goes on the outside. Now we're gonna grab the caliper. We can take off the bungee cord. Now we wanna compress this piston. We're gonna use one of the outside old brake pads. I'm gonna slide that on there. Then we'll take this caliper compressor tool. Uh, we sell these at 1AAuto.com. Loosen this up a little bit. So we'll line this up like this. Start to tighten it. And we're just gonna watch the piston as it goes in. Just go slow. Um, what this is doing is it's pushing brake fluid back through the lines and up to the master cylinder into the brake reservoir. Um, we will not have to bleed this system after doing this because um, we didn't disconnect the line when replacing these brake pads, so. Next, we're gonna take this brake pad with these ears and we're gonna slide it into the brake caliper piston. You gotta line it up. Sometimes this can be a little bit tricky. Tricky, 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 tricky. All right. So we're gonna push it down, get those ears to line up. Once you get the ears lined up, you can take the pad, push it in like that. Make sure that's secure. And we can slide the caliper over the other brake pad and on the bracket. Like that. And we'll take the caliper bolts, install these caliper bolts.
And I can use my 17 millimeter wrench, and a 12 millimeter socket and ratchet. We'll tighten these bolts down. And we're gonna use the torque wrench with a 12 millimeter socket. And I'll use the 17 millimeter wrench to hold the guide pin. And we're gonna to torque these to 17 foot pounds. All right, now we're gonna install the tire. And the lug nuts. Use the socket and snug these down. And we're going to lower the vehicle and torque the wheel. Now we're going to torque these lug nuts down. We're going to use a 19 millimeter socket in this torque wrench. We sell this torque wrench at 1AAuto.com. We're going to torque it at 80 foot pounds in a star pattern. You want to do it in a star pattern so that the wheel gets torqued evenly. Perfect. After we do this brake job, we're going to want to make sure we pump the brake pedal. You, there's going to be an air gap between the caliper piston and the brake pads, so you want to make sure you pump up the pedal and get rid of that air gap. Make, make sure the pedal feels good. Thanks for watching. Visit us at 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts, fast and free shipping, and the best customer service in the industry.